Yep, it's a new game. It is Transport Fever with some more funky music to get us going. And this little first look, we'll start the game, see what it's all about, and then see if it's something we're going to carry on with on the channel. So, as normal, let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and welcome to Transport Fever. And yeah, I've got rid of that music. So yeah, this little quick first look. Uh, literally, the game came available on uh, Steam uh, approximately 27 minutes ago. Uh, so it's just finished downloading. I've just started it up and hit that record button. So let's have a quick look then. I've gone into the uh, settings, obviously got rid of the music. Uh, graphics are on uh, 1920 by 1080. Um, graphic settings... Um, we can put on very high, I suppose, and just see if that works. Uh, yep, it looks like it has. Um, everything else, audio, we say we turned off the game music controls. We'll go with keyboard and mouse. Uh, interface, we're in miles. Uh, speed, we'll have in miles an hour. Power units, we'll go horsepower. Weight units is ton. Force units is foot pound, I suppose, better for me. Um, okay. So, yeah, let's, um, let's go through the tutorial, I suppose. A trade needs to be learned, and that applies to future transport tycoons, too. Learn how to gain an overview of your empire and obtain key figures for your business. How to build your first yards of road and lay your first railroad tracks. This tutorial will teach you the basic operations of the game. So, yeah, we'll have a look at the tutorial. Um, if you're new to my videos... Uh, welcome. Uh, this is something that, if it proves to be popular, may appear on a Sunday. Um, this is also something that I think will go very well on Twitch when I start doing uh, Twitch streams. Uh, I've watched a few Twitch streams recently of, playing, of people playing this game, and it's very enjoyable to watch on Twitch. So we'll see. Uh, subscribe to see more of this. Subscribe also to see um, my normal content, which is OMSI. The bus simulator three videos a week um fern bus the coach simulator uh, currently one video a week and trains is one video a week as well so with this six and possibly even seven days a week of content so hit that subscribe button please okay so i've hit the start button we've got a train whistle and no, it's all gone pausey. I'm hoping it's thinking about something. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's very, very slow mouse movement. Oh, it's still loading, that's why. So there may be glitches in this because like the game has just been released. Although I've seen people playing the sort of pre-release version, it seems to run smoothly. But I'm guessing as it's loading the map up for the first time, it's going to take a little while. So yeah, it's only been a quick little video, um, sort of five, ten minutes. Um, just to have a quick look, just a quick, quick feel of the game. Um, and then hopefully, if it proves popular, I'll carry on in a couple of days' time. Okay, now the bar seems to have come to a uh, sudden stop. We've now got no mouse movement at all. I'm not running this on an SSD, I'm get oh. Learn to direct and manage your future transport company and take your first steps on the way to becoming a successful transport tycoon. Okay. Get an overview of your transport empire. Okay, move cameras, W, A, S, and D. Yeah, yeah. So is it? That's rotate in the map, okay. Zoom is with the mouse wheel. Okay, yeah, I get that. 
This is how to lead your company and get to know the needs of your customers. You can interact with objects in the world by left clicking on them. Can I now? Okay, so if I zoom in then, there's a lot of traffic down there. Residential building, year built 1950, three residents, no one employed, land value $50 a square meter. Okay, what about a vehicle? Hmm. Oh, they're going home. Click on the city buildings, escape button, cancels the current action. Okay. Develop your infrastructure. The construction menu and line manager are located at the bottom of the screen. Okay, build tracks, railway stations, bus stops, truck stops, airports, harbors, signals, depots, and a separate sub menu for landscaping. On the left side of the same bar is a line manager, which is that one. That one. That's a line manager, yeah. So we haven't got any lines at the moment. Okay. Decide for yourself how quickly time flies. The buttons but to control the game speed can be found in the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay. Stay up to date with what's going on. In the bottom left area of the screen, you will find information about cities, industries, and vehicles. Down here then. Okay. Find out about the terrain. In the bottom right section of the screen, you can display various overlays, such as contour lines and land use. Oh, oh yeah, contour lines appear, okay. Land use. So one, so I see. Commercial is blue. Industrial is yellow, residential is green. Okay, I get that. And what's that one? Navigable waters. That's where boats can go. Okay, yeah, I get that as well. Be well advised in your business activities. At the top center of the screen, you will find hints and warnings. Here you can also choose what information about vehicles and stations appear in the game world. Okay, so we can identify which one. All right, okay, I sort of get that. Know what currently needs to be done in your company. You will find current tasks and information about medals and achievements in the top left corner. Up there. Okay. Right, so this game's currently paused. So the idea is, if you haven't seen this game before, um, it's a transport management game. So this is a very small map we've got here. Um, the idea is to set up transport links either by buses, um, by trains, by trucks, uh, by planes, by boats. Um, so I could link uh, a bus line from there to there and get people traveling backwards and forwards. I can also link industry. So we've got construction materials plant there. Um, we've got a food processing plant up there. We've got a farm there, so I take food from the farm um, to the food processing plant because that says it requires livestock and grain, and the farm produces livestock and grain. So I could take the food from stuff from the farm around to there to the food processing plant. The town then demands um, food, um, so I can then bring that back in and the town will then grow if I give it what it needs. So this is one of those games that you can get sucked into very, very easily. Um, we'll click on play. So we'll start the world going. And as you can see, even getting down to the level of detail we've got, is absolutely superb. So, yeah, the game itself, very, very involving. Um, it's going to be one of those, I think, that if it proves successful on the channel, if you want to see it, if you want to see me carry on with this, and there's a lot of people out there doing this game or have done this game. Uh, a few people have got sort of pre-release versions and have been uh, playing it and putting videos out there. Um, but if you like my content, if you like the way that I put these videos out, or if you haven't seen any of my content before, drop a comment below. So it's a very quick video just to give a little bit of an oversight into the game um, it uh, I may carry on doing another video coming out this coming Sunday um, where we'll carry on we'll go through the scenario set up some transport links and then move on to a proper big map um, and see if we can grow the city but 
I've played Train Fever, I've watched this game being streamed, and I think there is a lot and lot of potential uh, in this in this game. I think it's going to be really, really good. Um, let's see where you're going. So that person's going home. That's where they live. Travelling by foot. Doesn't own a car. So, yeah. So there we are. A little tiny first look. I we haven't actually done anything. Um, but just to see the actual gameplay and what it's like. So... If you want to see more, drop a comment below. Um, if you want to see more of my other videos, don't forget to hit that, hit that subscribe button for more of this on a Sunday. Um, I've got Twitch scheduled, for my first stream being on the 27th of December, so not far away. However, if um, there's enough demand, I may do a cheeky little Twitch stream before then. Uh, I've got to tweak my settings, but it could be that I might be appearing on Twitch in front of you very, very soon. So hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of this game on this channel. Until then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching.